Good day students. We are on week 2 of quarter 4. This week we have MELC is 32. Applies theorems on triangle inequalities. After going through the lesson, students are expected to First, recall theorems on triangle inequalities Second, solve the missing values using the theorems on triangle inequalities Lastly, apply theorems on triangle inequalities in real life Do you still remember the three theorem triangle inequality? Alright, you got it right! First, we have triangle inequality theorem it consists of three theorems, such as S1 plus S2 is greater than S3. Longest side and the shortest side opposite the larger angle and smallest angle are SS implies AA. And, a larger angle and the smallest angle are opposite the longest side and the shortest side are AA implies SS. The second theorem is the exterior angle inequality theorem. The third one is hinge theorem. Let's start with the triangle inequality theorem with S1 plus S2 is greater than S3. It states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of the triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Let's have an example. Let's see if you can recall the S1 plus S2 greater than S3 theorem. Let's determine if it's possible to draw a triangle with the following measures. Is it possible to draw a triangle with the sides 5, 10, 12? Yes, it can. How about the sides 6, 7 and 8? Alright, that's right. How about 6, 6 and 12? Yes, it can't. How about 3, 4 and 10? Yes, it can't also take note that the sum of the two smaller numbers is greater than the largest number. Okay, let's check. In the first given, the smallest numbers are 5 and 10. 5 plus 10 is 15, and 15 is greater than 12. In the second given, the smallest numbers are 6 and 7. 6 plus 7 is 13, and 13 is greater than 8. Next, we have 6 and 6. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 is equal 12. Therefore, it cannot possible to draw a triangle. Lastly, 3 and 4. It is 7 is less than 10. It is not possible to draw a triangle. What if there are only two given measures of sides? How can we identify the measure of third side? In that case, we can identify the range of the third side by adding the two sides to get the maximum value. And subtract the two sides to get the minimum value. We can write the range of the third side by minimum less than third side less than maximum. We read this as third side is greater than the minimum value but less than the maximum value. Let's have an example. The measures of the two sides of the triangle are given. Find range of the possible measure of the third side. 1, 6 and 10. For the solutions, we have 6 plus 10 equals 16. 16 is the maximum value. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 4 is the minimum value. The range of the third side is third side is greater than 4 but less than 16. The possible value of the third side is the set of 5, 6, 7, 8 up to 15. Second example, 8 and 13. For the solutions, 8 plus 13 equals 21. 21 is the maximum. 13 minus 8 equals 5. 5 is the minimum. The third side is greater than 5 but less than 21. The possible value of third side is the set of 6, 7, 8, 9 up to 20. For the third example, we have 13 and 16. For the solutions, 13 plus 16 equals 29. 29 is the maximum. 16 minus 13 equals 3. 3 is the minimum. The third side is greater than 3 but less than 29. The possible value of third side is the set of 4, 5, 6, 7 up to 28. Another example, two sides of the triangle measure 11 and 8 respectively. Find the range of the possible measures of the third side. 
The measures are 11, 8 and X. We use X to represent the third side. Let's have the minimum value, 11 minus 8. For the maximum value, we have 11 plus 8. Let's simplify. 11 minus 8 is 3. 11 plus 8 is 19. The range of the third side is X is greater than 3 but less than 19. The Another triangle inequality theorems are a, a implies S is, it states that if one angle is larger than the other angle, the side opposite the larger angle is the longer side. And S is implies A, it, it states that if one side is longer than the other side, the angle opposite the longer side is the larger angle. Let's have an example. Find the measure of the missing angles to name the shortest and longest side. Given that we have angle and measures X plus 15, Angle B is 2x, and angle I is 9 because it is a right angle. Remember that the sum of the measures of interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. So the equation will be angle A plus angle I plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Let's substitute the value angle A is x plus 15, angle I is 90, and angle B is 2x. So we have now x plus 15 plus 90 plus 2x equals 180. Let's simplify by combining like terms. x plus 2x is 3x. 15 plus 90 is 105. So, we have 3x plus 105 equals 180. Using addition property of equality, we have now 3x equals negative 105 plus 180. 3x equals 75. Divide both equation by 3. x equals 25. Now, let's find the measure of each angle. Take note that x equals 25. The measure of angle A is x plus 15. Substitute the value of x which is 25. So, we have now the measure of angle A is 25 plus 15, then let's simplify. The measure of angle A is 40. Next, the measure of angle B is 2x. Again, substitute the value of x which is 25. The measure of angle B is 2 times 25. The measure of angle B is 50, and the measure of the angle I is 90. In measures of interior angles a triangle, let's identify now the shortest and longest side of a given triangle. The smallest angle is 40 degrees which is angle A. The opposite side of angle A is line segment ID. Shortest side is line segment ID. The largest angle in the given figure is 90 degrees, which is the angle I. The opposite side of the angle I is line segment ED. Therefore, the longest side is line segment AD. The second theorem of triangle inequality is exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle inequality theorem states that if an angle is an exterior angle of a triangle, then its measure is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sub two remote interior angles. For the given example, angle D is the exterior angle, and the two opposite interior angles are the remote interior angles of angle D. The measure of angle B is equal to angle A plus angle B. Let's try. Fill in blanks with less than or greater than. Refer to the given figure. Angle ABD is the exterior angle. Angle ABC is the supplementary angle of angle ABD. Angle ACB and angle CAB are the remote interior angles of angle ABD. For number 1, what would be the answer? All right, it is greater than. Angle ABD is exterior angle and angle CAB is one of the remote interior angles. How about number two? Yes, it's correct. The measure of angle ACB is less than the measure of angle ABD because angle ACB is one of the remote interior angles and angle ABD is the exterior angle. For number three, what would be the answer? Yes, it's less than. Angle BAC is one of the remote interior angles and angle ABD is the exterior angle. For the next example, we have the measures of the remote interior angles of 80 degrees and 40 degrees. The measure of an exterior angle is missing. The equation will be exterior angle is equal to sum of two remote interior angles. 
So, we have x equals 80 plus 40. x equals 120. Next, we have the measure of the remote interior angles of 64. The measure of an exterior angle is 145 degrees. The other remote interior angle is missing. The equation will be missing remote interior angle is equal to the measure of exterior angle minus the measure of one given remote interior angle. So, we have y equals 145 minus 64, y equals 81. Find the measure of the missing angles to name the shortest and longest side. For this example, we are going to combine the exterior angle inequality theorem and triangle inequality theorem. The sum of the measure of remote interior angles is equal to the measure of exterior angles. Angle A and angle W are remote interior angles. Angle A is x plus 5. And angle W is X, angle WEF is an exterior angle, which measures 125 degrees. The equation will be X plus X plus 5 equals 125. Combine like terms, X plus X is 2X, then 2X plus 5 equals 125. Using addition property of equality, we have 2X equals 125 minus 5. 2x equals 120. Divide both equation by 2. x equals 60. Since we have the value of x, let's find now the value of each angle. Angle W is equal to x, so angle W is 60 degrees. The measure of angle A is x plus 5. Substitute the value of x, which is 60. So, the measure of angle A is 60 plus 5. Angle A measures 65 degrees. Since angle WEA is the supplement of the exterior angle WEF, the sum of its measures is equal to 180 degrees. The measure of angle WEA is equal to 180 minus 125. Angle WEA measures 55 degrees. Angle WEA is the smallest angle, then the sides opposite this angle is the shortest side, which is line segment AW. The largest angle is angle A which measures 65 degrees. The side opposite this angle is the longest side, which is line segment WE. The next theorem is hinge theorem also known as side angle side and equality theorem. It states that if the two sides of the triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle and the included angle of the first triangle has a greater measure than the other, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the side of the second triangle. Let's try this example. Given that line segment AC is congruent to line segment BC, measure of angle ACR is 18 degrees. The measure of angle BCR is 32 degrees. Fill the box with a greater than, less than, or equal. Line segment AR is blank to line segment BR. For the solution, since line segment CR is congruent to line segment CR by the reflexive property, the conditions for the hinge theorem are satisfied. And the longer side will be opposite the larger angle. Therefore, line segment AR is less than line segment BR. For example, number 2, line segment AB is blank to line segment E. In the given figures, there are two sides that are congruent. Line segment AC and line segment DF are congruent. Line segment CB is congruent to line segment DF. The included angle of triangle ABC, which is angle C, is 105 degrees. The included angle of triangle DEF which is angle F is 110 degrees. The side opposite angle C is line segment AB. It is the third side of triangle ABC. The side opposite angle F is the third side of triangle DEF which is line segment DE. Angle C is less than angle F therefore line segment AB is less than line segment E.
So the third example, line segment FG is blank to line segment LM in the given figures, there are two sides that are congruent. Line segment FH and line segment LN are congruent. Line segment HG is congruent to line segment NM. The included angle of triangle FGH which is angle H is 117 degrees. The included angle of triangle MN which is angle N is 117 degrees. The side opposite angle H is line segment FG, it is the third side of triangle FGH. The side opposite angle N is the third side of triangle LMN, which is line segment LM. Angle H is equal to angle N, therefore line segment FG is equal to line segment LM. That's all for today. Hope you learned from today's lesson. See you next time and thank you.